Christian, as James calls it, but specifically we're talking about following Christ. And so we're talking about three marks of pure Christianity. The very first one is this, controlled tongues. You nervous? You should be. Controlled tongues. James says that the very first mark of someone who is a pure Christian, someone who is faultless in their Christianity, the very first mark is that they will be a person who controls their tongues. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. And anybody, if if you know the book of James, um, probably to the displeasure of many of you, um, the subject of the tongue is a popular one in the book of James. And and so we're going to examine this subject in detail a few times during the series. And so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it this morning, but I do want to spend a couple of moments, mention a couple of key things uh, about controlling our tongues. There's a story told about John Wesley, who was a great preacher uh, 150, 200 years ago. And John Wesley um, was visiting a, a church where he had heard that um, very, very much uh, uh, inflicted and affected um, by the sin of, of gossip. And it was really driven by one particular lady. And, and, and I know that if you've ever been a part of the church, you know, not necessarily here at Crossroads, but if you've ever been a part of the church as a whole, that's not uncommon. Um, and it's not just ladies, by the way. All right, let me step in there and say that. It's not just ladies. It could be men. Um, in fact, uh, uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But uh, in this particular church, it happened to be a, a woman, and he was there speaking. And this lady came up to him afterwards, and she had a pair of scissors in her hands. And she said to John Wesley, I mean, this, this, this preacher, this, this minister um, who had, had um, done so much to uh, during the, uh, the, the Great Awakening, the enlightening, uh, Enlightenment um, period, he had done so much to further the cause of Christ. She comes up to him, and she's very critical of the tie that he has on. It's a bow tie, and it has tails that come off of it. And so she came up to John uh, Wesley, and she says to him, I, I want to tell you that your tie... Um, offends me because the tails are entirely too long. And so I wondered um, if you would mind if I just cut the tails off of it. And Wesley said, go right ahead. And so this lady reaches up. I, you know, it, it's, it's some of the things. It's different today because it's not about bow ties, but it could be about length of hair. It could be about whether you wear your shirts untucked or tucked in or it could be about all sorts of things. I mean, I think you follow the idea. But this woman is very critical, and she's not afraid to spread all this poison throughout the church. And so Wesley let her do this, and then Wesley says to her, Madam, may I have the scissors? She gives him the scissors, and then he says, Your tongue, from what I understand, has offended many in this church. And so I wondered if you would mind if... You, you would stick out your tongue so that I might cut it shorter. You can laugh. I thought it was hilarious. Um, And Wesley made his point. The the tongue, in the book of James, it talks about how the tongue is such a small thing, and you guys know that, a, a part of our body, but the tongue is such a powerful thing. I mean, it starts forest fires. Uh, the, the tongue, uh, like the rudder of a ship, can turn an entire ship. And it can turn an entire church. Now, here's the part that I've really, really struggled with. I'm going to repeat verse 26. And I really want you to hear these words. If anyone considers himself religious and yet does not keep a tight rein on his tongue, he deceives himself and his religion is worthless. And I hope you hear it. I hope you hear it. Now, I'm going to make a statement about something, and then I'm going to let it go. I've already actually let it go. There are people who don't think that that's true, but it's true. I've let it go. But unfortunately, because of the subject matter that we're talking about, there are others who have not let it go. 
And so I want our congregation to hear these things clearly. I hope that you hear this. Over the past year or so, there have been a lot of rumors and gossip that have been spread about the leadership of this congregation. And specifically, rumors and gossip that have been spread about me. And, and I want you to understand something. There's been a lot of damage done. All you have to do is look around and know that there has been damage done. There are people who were here who are no longer here. Now, if you are sitting there right now and you're fortunate enough that you have not heard these things, then I want to say something sincerely and seriously to you. Praise God. Praise God, because that means that God has protected you from that. And I'm glad that he's protected you from it. But there have been individuals, and specifically one individual, who has been active in this area. I haven't said a whole lot. Anyone who has been here understands that I haven't responded and said a whole lot about any of it. I've ignored it. But what keeps happening and continues to happen is that every once in a while it raises up again. And so I'm not ignoring it anymore. I'm not angry about it. I simply want people to understand this passage of Scripture and what it states. And so those people who've left because of this, because of the things that have been said, I hope that they go on and I hope that they get things straightened up. But they need to understand something because they've participated in this what it really leads us to understand is that they're not believers to begin with because believers don't handle themselves in this manner not my words is what James says James says that a person who cannot control his tongue and participates in such things deceives themselves about being a Christian because that's not the way that you take you know, you handle those things. He's very clear with his message. <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm not angry about it. I'm not going to bash anybody about it. Um, but I want us to understand this passage. It's about controlling our tongues. It's the very first mark of being a follower of Jesus Christ, of being pure in our motives. And some people would say, well, you know, we put these out on the Internet. In fact, this morning we're starting with... Um, uh, recording it, what did you say, um, Eric, MP3, so we can put it on the internet uninterrupted, right? All right. And so these are going to be uninterrupted, and some people say, don't you care that they might hear it? I hope that they hear it. I hope that they hear this message simply because I'm going to stand on the authority of the Word of God. And see, there would be people who would say this also, well, who are you? Who are you to say that? I will tell you this, I don't participate in that. I have told you before and I will continue to tell you that if I have something to say to you, if I have something against you, I will come to you. And I hope that you understand and believe that. I don't have a problem with that. Because it's the way that God tells us we're to handle our problems between each other and not in this way. In fact, let me illustrate that because we had one of our elders who was called one evening by an individual who began to just trash me. I mean, just tearing me apart about every, every, you know, every little thing. And, and maybe they weren't little things. Maybe some of them were big things. I don't know. But the point is, is he wasn't talking to me about them. He was talking to this elder about it. And I love the way the elder responded. And, 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 and some of you can go on thinking, well, the elder made this up. But the honest truth is the elder was able to make this statement, this true statement. And he said to the individual, I want you to know that Miles isn't doing this to you. Miles isn't doing the same thing that you are doing to him, to you. And the individual says, I doubt that. And the elder went on to say, I guarantee it because I know he's not doing it. Those of you who know the issues that went on during that period of time, I think that you will also say that Miles has not done that. And I won't. 